here we have a question in this question we are rotating this disk as you can see here now we have to find the minimum value of couple moment that we will provide to this disk in order to impend the motion so let's understand what's going to happen here as we rotate this disk in anti-clockwise direction with a couple moment let's suppose that's m there would be a friction force at point a which will be applied in this direction because at the instance we can see that the disk wants to rotate in this direction so the relative motion is in backward direction at this point so we can say that the friction force always oppose the relative motion so the friction force at point a will be applied in forward direction and hence at point b it is same that the friction force at point b is supporting the motion of this ring in upward direction so here we can say that the friction force is being applied in upward direction on this disk now let's come to the concrete block here as we can see there are there would be two motions in concrete block one it will tilt over point o other is it will slide in this direction so here we are applying the boundary condition where the motion is just to impend so either this disc will rotate and start its motion in upward direction or either this concrete will tilt about point o or this concrete will slide towards left so here let's move forward as we can see we can write the normal reaction on concrete by the ground that is nc can be written as weight of concrete plus the friction force which is acting in downward direction at point b on concrete after that we will take moment about point o equal to zero and after that we will take this condition as you can see here on the concrete along x direction means along horizontal direction we will equate the friction force let's suppose there's a friction force on concrete which is acting in this direction that's fc will balance this friction force with the normal reaction which the disc is applying on the concrete that is nb so from here we will write fc equal to nb so from here we can find the value of moment and after that as we find the value of moment we will check these two condition whether the block the concrete block is about to tilt or the concrete block is about to slide towards left and after that we will justify our solution so now let's move forward here as we can see the weight w of the disc is given to us which is the wheel which is 150 lb the weight of the concrete block is given to us which is 300 lb the static friction at point a is given to us which is 0 0.20 and the static friction at point b is given to us which is 0 0.30 and the static friction between the concrete and the floor is given to us which is 0 0.4 and the radius of the wheel is given to us which is 1.5 feet so from here we can write equation number one as we discussed on concrete as we can see here the normal reaction at point c is balancing the weight of concrete and the friction force fb so from here we can write as we take the summation of all forces along vertical direction is equal to zero we can write nc we are considering forces in upward direction as positive and downward direction as negative so we can write nc minus fb minus wb equal to zero we'll name it as equation number one now let's see which are the forces which are acting on the concrete so let's substitute the value of wb so from here we can write nc minus 
F B minus three hundred equal to zero. We'll name it as equation number two. Now let's resolve the forces in x direction on the concrete. As we know, on the concrete, the friction force at point C is being applied in this direction, and the normal re reaction at point B on concrete is being applied in this direction. So we are considering all the forces towards right as positive and all the forces towards left as negative so from here we can write fc minus nb equal to zero from here we can write fc equal to nb we will name it as equation number three now let's take the moment about point o equal to zero so here as we can see normal reaction at point b is at a distance of a which is the radius of 1.5 feet let's suppose this is the point o minus weight which is acting at the center at a distance of x we can write it as minus wb into x we are considering all the anti-clockwise moment as positive while clockwise moment as negative so from here we can write it as minus of wb into x plus the friction force which is acting in downward direction we can consider it we can move this parallelly and say that the friction force is acting at this point from here we can write the moment of the friction force fb that can be written as fb into a plus x equal to zero so from here as we substitute the value of wb as 300 and the value of a as 0 0.5 from here we can write this distance as 1.0.5 feet so from here we can write equation number 5 now let's move to the wheel here as we can see the force in vertical direction means in y direction na minus fb minus w which is the weight of wheel will be equal to zero as we can see we are considering all the forces in upward direction as positive and all the forces in downward direction as negative so here as we substitute the value of weight of will that's 150 lb so from here we can get the equation number seven now let's resolve the forces in x direction as we take the summation of all forces on the wheel across x direction is equal to zero as you can see the normal reaction at point b on the wheel is in rightward direction and the friction force at point a is towards left direction so from here we can write nb equal to fa limit as equation number eight now here let's take the moment about point a in anti-clockwise direction so here we are going to take the moment about point a we will consider all the moment in anti-clockwise direction as positive and all the moment in clockwise direction as negative so from here we can write moment which we are applying minus nb into r which is the normal reaction at point b and as we can see at point a the moment due to this force nb would be in clockwise direction so here we can write the moment due to the friction force fb is also in clockwise direction so we'll minus it so from here we can get a relation between moment and normal reaction at point b and the friction force at point b we'll name it as equation number 10 so here as we know friction force at point b will be equal to coefficient of friction at point b into the normal reaction force at point b limit as equation number 11 now as we substitute the value of coefficient of friction at point b that is 0 0.3 we can write fb equal to 0 0.3 into nb limit as equation number 12 and same we can write the friction force at point a which is coefficient of friction force at point a into normal reaction at point a we'll limit as equation number 14 so from here we can find as we saw equation number 2 3 5 7 8 and 10 we can get the value of na which comes out to be 141.51 lb the value of 
friction force at point A that comes out to be 28.30 LB value of normal force at point B that comes out to be 28.30 LB value of friction force at point B that comes out to be 8.491 LB the value of friction force at point C that comes out to be 28.30 LB and the normal reaction force at point C that comes out to be 308.49 LB and the value of X comes out to be 0.1239 feet and the final answer the moment comes out to be 55.21 LB feet so here the couple moment comes out to be 55.21 LB feet now we will calculate whether due to this couple moment whether the block is sliding towards left or not so here as we know the normal reaction at point C is given to us and the coefficient of static friction at point C is given to us so here we can find the value of maximum value of friction force that can be applied so here as we substitute the values we can find that the maximum friction force comes out to be 123.40 LB and our friction force in calculation comes out to be which is very less as compared to this maximum friction force so we can say that we can satisfy our condition for the given couple moment and the couple moment which is required in order to impend the motion of the wheel in upward direction that is 55.2 lb feet thank you